Well, what about relapse? Mm. So this is the long game, right? We, we can treat someone acutely, no big deal, for the most part. It's just keeping them on a medicine for the long haul. And we have to select something that works, otherwise there's no point to it. It also has to be tolerable so that they're willing to take it as well. Mm. Well, let's take a look at uh, avoidance of relapse. How many patients needed to be randomized to drug versus placebo before avoiding one relapse event? And usually these NNT values are really low, yeah. meaning really good, because yeah. it doesn't take very many patients to be randomized to drug versus placebo before encountering the benefit. So lower is better for efficacy. Yeah. And we have basically threes and fours. Uh, what's with this nine to lorazidone? Andy? Well, first of all, look at the uh, standard deviation is huge. Yeah. Uh, the problem here was there were issues with, uh, this was a global study, there were issues with the performance of the study where one region of the world had an excessively high placebo and placebo actually looked better than active drug and we all know that's not realistic. And some of this has to do, having done a lot of these trials, some of it has to do with subject selection and how stable the patient is, if you will. So uh, there might have been some issues here. I mean, st it's still on average less than 10. And I think we would all agree with our experience with lorazidone is it's a highly effective antipsychotic. And if patients do continue to take it, of course, and that's the thing with all of these, they're very effective at preventing relapse. This is also important with we have some LAI preparations, as you mentioned, and LAIs are extremely efficacious at preventing relapse. And as our friend Jonathan Meyer is now fond of saying, we need to do everything we can to avoid relapse. Relapse is practically preventable and catastrophic event for a number of reasons. Yeah, so that's the long game. Uh, just uh, when you see graphs like this, pay attention to the 95% confidence interval. If it's very large, it means it's an imprecise estimate yeah. and it'll overlap with everything else.